Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. Tonight we have Hopadillo IPA. And this is crafted by Carback Brewing Company out of Houston, Texas. And this is 6.6% ABV and 65 IBUs. You can see right here the IBUs are displayed, which is really cool. A lot of cans don't have that. Some cans don't even have the ABV, so it's cool that they have the IBUs here. It says, brewed in Texas, please remain calm. And so this is an Anheuser-Busch Busch product. I believe they bought this brewery around 2016. So this is owned by Anheuser-Busch and kind of a monster here on the can. I won't read the whole description, but it says, uh, this dry hop Texas IPA has a flavor of defiant, as, has a flavor as defiant as the Hopadillo himself. It's packed with the bracing bitterness of hops from around the world that this creature craves. He's coming to get you. You've been warned. So this is an American IPA. Uh, like I said, 65 IBUs, so I'm expecting a good amount of bitterness. You never know, though. Um, it gets an 85 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. Let's go in for the pour. I couldn't tell if there was smoke there, but... All right, so far this is looking like a classic West Coast style IPA. So American IPA, West Coast IPA are the same thing. Yeah, look at that. That is a good looking beer. Um, looks like we can just tell it. And it, to me, it just seems like it's going to be a malty, like bitter IPA. Uh, the color is kind of like a copperish kind of color, amber, if you will. Um, about two and a half fingers worth of head. A cream colored, slightly off white head, kind of a soapy appearance on the head. Not really any haze, you can see through the glass. This is like a classic, like old school West Coast IPA. Looks like a very crisp beer, a lot of bubbles streaming up to the surface. Let's go in for the aroma. Oh, yeah, ton of grapefruit. I was actually getting a little bit of cherry on the nose, if you can believe that. Smells just very bitter. I'm um, getting classic like orange, like those classic West Coast hops. I'm getting the stone fruit type of hops. Malty. Um, yeah, what is that? It's another kind of stone fruit, not grapefruit, but orange, maybe a little bit of raspberry. It smells very, very good though. It smells sweet. Without further ado, salute. Oh yeah, good amount of bitterness. If you're not into bitter beers, you might not like this one. Um, so bitterness is the first thing that stands out, but there's followed by just the grapefruit, a lot of citrus. Sweetness, it, there is malt there as well, but the hops are kind of running the show here. I reviewed a stout earlier tonight and a brown ale, and the malt was running the show. Not the case here, guys. This is the hops running the show for this this beer. Um, Mouthfeel, I'll say, is medium. And it's pretty sessionable in that the ABV is not too high, but it is quite bitter. If you're not into bitter beers, like I said earlier, you're probably not going to like this. But there's a lot of flavor. And you can see a lot of lacing, um, good lacing right here. Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel, I guess, is on the lower end of medium. Um, a little bit more here. But yeah, you know, I've been craving like a solid, just like West Coast IPA. You know, I live in New England. There's so many great New England, New England style IPAs. When there, where there's, you know, the bitterness is dialed back, uh, more of like the tropical notes. But, uh, you know, I've been craving like a stone fruit flavor type, you know, also malty, just IPA um, with some bitterness. Solid head right here as well. Still good head retention and just like a clear IPA. And I got it with this one. This is really good. Um, I'd recommend it. I only have the one can um, for a score. Still getting that orange note as well. Some sediment in the head there as well for a score. Wow, this is 
for an American style IPA. I'm going pretty high on this one. I'm going 9.5 out of 100. I think this is really, really good. Um, this represents the West Coast style to a T, almost to a T. I mean, I've had better ones, um, but this is up there. You know, um, forgot what I gave the, uh, what was it? Um, Anderson Valley's Hop Out and IPA was really good. Great West Coast style, but um, you can tell just great beer. The hops are just running the show. And if you like bitter West Coast IPAs, this is, you would love this beer. So anyways, this is Hopadilla, Carback Brewing Company, Anheuser-Busch products. Really good though. Until um, next time, thanks for watching. Salute.